Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Happy New Year. So this is the first video I'm actually filming in 2021. Every video that's gone up on my channel so far, I filmed last year. Anyway, Happy New Year. Hopefully 2021 is good for everyone. Um, just a couple of things before I get into today's video. I am doing a vlog sale or well, like the last two videos. This yeah one of the past videos that i put up is a vlog sale and um i do have a couple of items still available um i'm selling this which is my Givenchy Antigona and i'm also selling my um Louis Vuitton Pochette Matisse so i will link that in the description box down below and i also put up cards on the screen i still don't know what side it's on and um what else oh i'm almost at 2k subscribers i think i need like 70 more people so tell a friend to tell a friend to tell a friend to subscribe to my channel just so I get to 2K um, subscribers in the next couple of days, maybe weeks. Um, I don't know. But yeah, now that that's out of the way, today's video is going to be on my best and worst luxury purchases of 2020. The worst are not like horrible. It's just like little things that I'm finding um, that are kind of a little annoying and I wish didn't exist um but yeah before I get into that hello my name is Maddie I film all things luxury so if you do enjoy watching luxury videos I would appreciate it if you join my little YouTube family by hitting the subscribe button down below turn the notification bell as well just so you get notified every time I upload a video and um if you're not new shout out to you <laughs> you're a real one so I'm just gonna get into the video I'm just gonna pick up whatever item is close to me and then I will let you know if it's a best or worst I'm not gonna go and like any i'm not gonna do best and then worst or vice versa i'm just gonna pick up whatever i see and then i'll let you know if it's a best purchase or a worst purchase i'm gonna start with slg's just because it's so small i'm currently using it and one of my best one of my best purchases of 2020 is my chanel card holder I think it's just a classic card holder. I think that's what it's called. But I got mine in black caviar in black caviar leather with um, gold hardware. Um, it's funny. I forgot I got this in 2020. Um, I mean, yeah, it was bought in 2020. I had a friend travel and she was at the airport in London. I think Heathrow. And she was able to pick this up for me tax-free. Um, so I saved like $120 maybe off of this. And um, yeah, I haven't looked back since I picked this up. I got this. I want to say in January last year, and um, it definitely replaced my Gucci Marmon card holder, which is for sale as well on my vlog sales, so make sure you check out that video. Um, so yeah, this has replaced that, and the Gucci one is also black with gold hardware, even though it's like a smooth leather, but I just feel like I don't need two of the same kinds of, um, whatchamacallit, same kinds of wallet, so I'm letting that one go. But yeah, first item is a best purchase so another best purchase of 2020 which is kind of technically cheating because i did pick this up in 2019 but i picked this up like december 29th of 2019 so technically i really use it a lot in 2020 and it is my louis vuitton clay so it's the key pouch or the clay or the clay pochette and um as you can see mine is in monogram and um yeah like i said i technically did buy this in 2019 but i I'm pretty sure I got it after Christmas, like close to close to New Year. I think, that, yeah, like the twenty, the last couple of days in in December of 2019. But technically, I used it a lot in 2020, so that's why I'm choosing to include it in this video. And um, I'm currently using it. This replaced my um, what is it? Replaced my six key holder, which was part of the vlog sale, but that has sold and um yeah i didn't i didn't reach for that at all once i got this and um, i did do like a comparison video between this and the six key holder um i'll put it up again i'll put up a card just so you guys can see if you're interested in checking that out um so you get to find out why exactly that technically stopped working for me after i got this um but yeah even though this is kind of like a cheap piece i did pick this up in 2019 but i used it a lot in 2020 so so i'll switch things up a little bit i'll i'll go over to one of my worst purchases so the first um worst purchase that i will show you guys is my christian dior um Dua sandals um this is really pretty i love 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 this color um it's unique too because i feel like it's very different from the ones that everybody has um i absolutely love it it's really pretty i don't regret buying it um but the problem is i feel like i've mentioned this a lot on my channel shoes wear out really really quick i got these in august of 2020 and i wore them 
maybe like five times in total less than 10 times for sure and um i already have like you can see that little white thing here that's a scuff um and i just feel like it's it just it doesn't look like i just got it this is the bottom apologize um it doesn't really look like i just got it it kind of looks like i've had it for a lot longer than i have and it looks like i've worn it for a lot longer um that's the only reason why this is on my worst um my worst purchase of 2020 list i don't regret buying it i absolutely love it the color is really pretty and it's different um but i just don't like how shoes wear so yeah this is the first worst luxury purchase of 2020 even though i absolutely love it so another worst even though i absolutely i'm in love with this item as well is a louis vuitton card holder what is this i think it's just called it's just called a card holder and it's in the reverse monogram um i absolutely love this piece i just feel like it's very small it's very slim which is a good thing but then it's also a bad thing it doesn't really have that many um card slots so it only has three so it has the first one in the front, the second one in the back, and just one in the middle. Um, comparing it really quick to my Chanel card holder, this has one, two, three, four slots, and it's a lot bigger. Like the Chanel card holder is a lot bigger, and it's just more, it's just a little thicker, which I just feel... I just feel like this holds a lot more cards than this and I'm not really trying to stretch this out even though I feel like I already have because I always double it um, just because it's it's very like when I first got it it was really stiff and um, I guess that's a good thing depending on what exactly you want um, in the card holder obviously you don't want it to be too big but I just feel like this is a little too skinny um, but I actually love it. Like I'm in love with the reverse monogram and the regular monogram. It just it just looks so pretty. But again, compared to this one, which I think is the perfect size, this is kind of a little too small. But I wasn't gonna return it because I don't know. I just I just really like how it looks. Um, and I still use it. Um, I actually just switched out of this back into this just because I've used this for like two three months already. Um, so the moment I got it. I just I switched out of this one and I've been using this one since then I recently maybe like a couple of days ago just went back into using this one so even though it's a worst luxury purchase I absolutely am in love with this and I love how it looks okay, so the next thing that I have is actually one of the best purchases this is also kind of cheating um because I did pick this up in November or December I think I got this December last year so I have I've had it for a little over a month but from the moment I got it I've worn it a shitload of times um which I, I don't know but anyway the next best luxury purchase on my wish list are my balenciaga speed sneakers or speed trainers whatever you want to call them and mine is in black and white um i absolutely love this i got this literally like a month ago but i've worn them a butt ton of times since i got this and they're so comfortable and i feel like i've worn these a lot more than i wore my dior um sand my dior dua sandals or dua sandals and these actually are wearing a lot better than that so yeah I, i'm not I, I don't know i guess my theory on shoes kind of depends on what shoe it is but these actually are a best luxury purchase of 2020 absolutely love how they look um they're hella comfortable and um you can wear these for hours and not even feel any type of way um yeah i absolutely love this and i just feel like they make every outfit because i mean it's winter time plus covid so i'm living in sweats right now and yeah i feel like this is just great when you have like casual outfits on absolutely love this and i don't regret buying it even though i haven't had it for that long i feel like for the short period of time that i've had it i've i've worn it a lot um but yeah next best luxury purchase on my list the next item i'm gonna talk about actually is a worse luxury purchase but i did return it so i think the last video that i put up was on the recto verso the louis vuitton recto verso and um i ended up returning that just because it did not really work for me um yeah you can check out the video i'll put up i'll put up the card on the screen somewhere so you guys can see um and you can find out exactly why it wasn't working for me and why i sent it back um like i said in that video i feel like it's a very well thought out slg you know it's a three in one it gets to like it just it's multifunctional which is what we're looking for when you're spending money on luxury items um but i intended to use it for my keys as well i intended to put my key fob in it and um my regular keys um and it just it was just too bulky for me and it just didn't work for me so i ended up returning that so that i guess just because it didn't work for me i ended up returning returning it that was a 
worst luxury purchase. I'm glad I returned it because I felt like if I kept it, I would have sold it um, eventually. And I mean, I probably would have made a profit off of it, but I just, I don't know. It just, it just wasn't doing it for me. It didn't make my heart sing. So I decided to return it. Okay. So we're going to switch gears a little bit back to a best and the next best, um, luxury item that I purchased in 2020 is this right here, which is a Louis Vuitton Pachette accessoire. Yeah, it's the Pachette accessoire. Um, it's the bag that I'm currently using. Um, we're not really going anywhere, so yeah. I absolutely love this. I do have, I got a chain. I think I just picked this up from Amazon, not, nowhere special. Um, I do have multiple videos of this bag on my, or SLG, whatever you wanna call it. I do have a couple of videos of this on my channel already. I compared this to the mini Pachette. I'll put up a card, and I also did like a, first impression slash review um if you watch one of those videos i did mention that the vachetta strap which comes with it kind of gives me anxiety a little bit um so yeah i ended up getting this strap and i just feel like it's a lot more convenient i don't really have to worry about what the weather is it does have like this little vachetta tab but i feel like i would be able to protect that a lot better than i would be able to protect the actual strap um so yeah i picked this up on amazon and just replace the actual strap with it i don't even know where it is this i have used a lot i've used this a lot casual i've used this dressy i've, I've worn this a lot and i absolutely love it it's just a quick grab it's, it's very convenient like i don't really need big bags right now like no one's trying to carry like the neverfull or like anything that's bigger than literally this and it literally fits my daily essentials and a little bit more and um I have nothing bad to say about this. Louis Vuitton just had a price increase, so I got this for six something, six thirty. I think it's like almost eight hundred dollars right now. It's like seven eighty or seven ninety. I don't know. So I'm really glad that I got this. I think I got this in November last year for my birthday, and yeah, I cannot believe that this is almost. I'm pretty sure with tax, it's going to be over eight hundred dollars at this point. And the, like yeah i mean if you want it i definitely recommend it because it's amazing i think i personally think it's amazing but that price is yeah that's that's a bit much that price is a little bit much okay so the next thing i'm going to talk about i think this is the last of my worst <laughs> luxury purchases and it is this which is the louis vuitton agenda mm or the medium ring agenda um i absolutely love this i use it a lot i use this every day like i have notes in it I do have like a little calendar sash section. I also have like a to-do list section. I really use this, but the issue I have with this, which I've mentioned before on one of my past um, previous videos, it's too small. I don't know. I feel like I should have just gone with the large um, because I do use this a lot and it's kind of a little difficult to write in. Not as difficult as the PM, obviously. Um, so I feel like I might end up selling this sometime in the future and I probably would just get the large. Um, because I actually use this every day like it just keeps me in check. I use this for work like actual work that pays the bills I use this for YouTube. I use this for grocery. I use this for a lot of things um, So it definitely comes in handy, but I just wish I went for the bigger size I wish I went for the large ring agenda like the GM whatever you want to call it um, So yeah, I'm I don't know yet, but I think eventually down the line I might sell this and get the agenda Lodging the large ring agenda. I don't know yet, but we'll see how that goes. So yeah, this is the last of my worst luxury purchases. Like I said, none of these things are none of the worst are bad. Like it just it's just a title. It's just a title. So the last two items I'm gonna talk about are best purchases of 2020. And um the first is my Louis Vuitton Nano Speedy. Um, I don't think this was affected by the recent price increase, but I feel like the price has gone up maybe like one time, more than or twice since I got it. I'm not sure, um, but I got this in March or April last year, and um, I'm absolutely in love with this bag. It's so tiny. She's so tiny and so adorable, but I have air paper inside. It definitely fits a lot. Um, it fits just as much as my Pochette accessoire, if not even more. Um, it fits my phone, but it's you kind of have to angle it and all that stuff. Um, but yeah, this is what it looks like. Absolutely, absolutely in love with this bag, and I don't regret purchasing it at all. Um, this was my summer bag. I use this almost every day. Um, I don't reach for it as much just because the weather is like funny. You know, it's like winter and like rain and snow and all that stuff. Um, but I've been reaching for my 
Pichette accessoire a lot more but I absolutely love this bag it's just so cute and I just I, I don't know it's really just so adorable um but yeah this is a best purchase of 2021 um I know it's kind of hard to find it was it was hard to find at the time too we just became available on the on the website and um yeah I, I don't know what to tell you just keep stalking the website if you're eyeing this and um do I have a review of this bag on my channel? I don't think so. So if you want if you want a review on this, let me know. I've had it for almost a year, so I feel like I can tell you I, I, I can definitely do a review if you want if you want me to do a review on this bag. I do have a couple of comparisons. So I have a comparison with this bag and another bag. And someone left a comment in my last video to do a comparison between this and I think the Toy Lulu. So I should have I have all the reviews and comparison videos up on my channel soon. So the next item that I'm gonna talk about um is a bag and it's one of my best luxury purchases of 2020, even though I wasn't able to use her as much as I would have liked. Um, and the item I'm talking about is my Dior, it's, it's the Lady Dior Mini. It's a Lady Dior Mini. I was going to say my Dior Lady Dior Mini. So it's a Lady Dior Mini in this hot pink color. Um, absolutely, absolutely love this bag. I love this color. I got it from an Instagram seller. Um, and I was able to save like $2,000, maybe a little more on this. Um, I wasn't really able to wear this bag. Um, I don't know. I see it as a summer bag. That's one. And with the pandemic and everything, I wasn't really trying to reach for a bag that I had to hold. So it does come with the strap, which is right here, but I don't know. I just think this, it just looks a lot better. Um, top handle. Um, I haven't really worn it with the strap and I also feel like if I wear it with the strap, I would have to put it on my body and I'd have to worry about color transfer. So I don't really use this bag with the strap. I think I only wore this once and that was on July 4th. Yeah, that was on July 4th. Um, I went to Liberty State Park in Jersey with um, a couple of my friends. I mean, I've worn it. When I first got it, I just I took it around just to run a couple of errands. But that was because I had just gotten it and I wanted to kind of like get a feel of, you know, how I would like the bag or like how it would look on me. Um, but the only time I wore it out, out was literally just that one time. Um, and like I said, I just... Just with everything going on, I'm not really trying to hold a bag top handle. Um, but hopefully 2021, you know, I get like more opportunities to wear it. But um, even though I did not wear it that often, I still think it's one of my best purchases of 2020. And I saved a lot of money getting this pre-loved. And I just love it. There's just something about the Lady Dior. If I'm able to get another one, if the price is right, I probably would. Maybe like a more neutral color. But I absolutely love that this is a pop of color. And um, I don't regret buying this bag at all. So yeah, that does it for my best and worst luxury purchases of 2020. Um, let me know what your best or worst purchase of 2020 was if you have any. If you don't have a worst, kudos to you. Um, so far, I have not had a year where I don't have a worst. But then again, I'm just being honest. Like the worst are not really that bad. But there's just like little things things that I would tweak or like little things um that make me not like them as much as I want to as much as I want to like them even though I still like them I can't explain it but if you know you know you know what I'm talking about um but yeah let me know what you guys do have in your collection and what's your best or worst purchase of 2020 and um honestly hoping for a great 2021 but thank you guys so much for watching i hope you enjoyed it if you did enjoy it, be sure to give this video a thumbs up leave comments in the comment section down below and um turn the notification bell while you're at it just so you get notified every time i upload a video and um i will catch you in the next one bye